Welcome back to Let's Play some Maristis. Last time we opened up a door. Look at how open that door is. And then I went inside. Oh man, mystery solved. Okay, so I kind of want to get across, so I'm going to have to jump on these blocks. And not get pushed off by these little things. Let's just wait around for a little while and see what happens. Well, that was easy. I want that, though. And now we just wait a little while. I'm floating on some water. And it'll take me right on down. I can see some books in the distance. And then I went in the door. Oh man, look at me, going indoors. Let's see if I remember this room correctly. The, let's see here, the water takes you this way. I don't know if I want to hit that switch or not. I won't hit it right away. No, I hit it! Reverses the current, don't you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. So that needs... We need to go down there. So that's gonna take that, so we gotta hit the switch. And then run for it. Ah. And then we wait a little while. And the water takes us down. Okay, this room, this room. Now the trick with this room. I remember this much. The trick with this room is that you don't want this brown block on that switch down there in the corner for as long as possible. So you take it down and then you hit the switch again to bring it on back up. So you don't get it stuck in the little thing with the switch. Oh crap! Try that again. Okay, let's get you over there so you're nice and prepped. There we are. Okay, then now I need to go over that way. I could have jumped on the block. That probably would have made my life easier, but I didn't. So what I'm gonna do is that Because when you when that block hits that little switch down there, not only does the water current change, but it also floods this area with the changed water current. And that'll push this block, and if that pushes this block, then it goes down there and we can't do crap about it. So we have to prep this area before that. We want the block to slide along the ice and not the ice slide along the death blocks over there to the thing. Now we can hit the switch. Hit switch, block go, and block. Land on switch. And then it's all suddenly safe and stuff. And we're gonna hit the switch again to not flood the area. To unflood it, if you will. Oh man, ice. Now the first time I came in this room, I was thinking, man, this is gonna be an interesting puzzle to get to the other side. Then I stopped and thought about it and realized that it's all pits. You can't hit a wall and stop. So really, if there's not a straight line, then you can't do it. So you come down here and hit a switch. Yeah, I hit it. And then unhit it. And then hit it again. Heck yeah. Hitting switches. And surprise, surprise, not only did it raise the water, but it also raised some platforms so we can get across. Go us. 
And also, we don't want to drown, because now we're underwater. Now, I don't know how you're supposed to do this level, this room, this level. I don't know how you're supposed to do it, but I don't play by this game's rules. I come over here and do this. And then heck with your room. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick, gotta be quick, because the water changes! Crap, I'm just stuck underwater now. If I turn, I'm gonna fly off and die. I have to wait for the water to- there we are. Okay, now I wait- no, get out of the- get some breath back. There we are. I have died in these rooms getting used to this stuff more often than is necessary. Now you can see there's a little fairy over there hitting the switch! And that is the cause of our strife. And by strife, I mean what helps us get across these blocks. Because we need the water current in our favor to make these jumps! And you know what? I want that hat. Give hat. I take hat. Marissa, go, Marissa, go! Yes! Ho! Hut! Yeah! Victory belongs to me! And now we can just hop up right up here. And get us a poo block. Take over here, poo blocks float. Look at it, float. All floating in the air. Oh, and then there's this room. I have died in this room far more times than is reasonably necessary. The trick is to be a little bit fast about it and jump straight onto this block. Or this block and that other block will eventually go out of sync. And it'll be really hard to time getting on that from here. And then getting back is actually not that complicated. As I almost jump into the water. Yep. Okay, now we just gotta go get our food block again. and float our way up into this room. This is also not a terribly difficult room. Hi-yo! Hi-yo! They give you a poo block, and we open the door. So you gotta use the poo block to get up here. And really the only way is right there, through float. Oh heavens, oh heavens, oh heavens. No, 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 no. Well, I made it up here. That's, that's good. Good is the correct phrase for that, I, if memory serves. Okay, now we need to go back. Going back! Jumping! Going up a place! No, 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 no. I gotta think. Give me a second. I'm thinking. For the water to go the other way, and we should be able to just float down here. E. No, get in, Marissa. No. Yeah. Yes, victory is mine. And I got a key. And then we open the door. So guess where we're going next? Takes us right back out, though, and we are more or less good to go. We've accomplished all there is to accomplish in this grand area. How grand is this grand area, anyway? Because we started there, hey, a piece of work. We started there on the bottom floor, went to the left, and that went up and around there. We go to the right, there's a piece of broom in that room, but that room was locked. And then we came up here, and we hit that, and then we looped around. That was the two rooms we had to do to get the thing. So we looped around, and now we're on our way back. That's about all there is to it, really. Give me a food lock so I can just do this. And then in here, we just kind of have to wait a little while. Because we need to get across, and we need 
those blocks to do it. I think I'm just going to do a little exercise here. Keep my legs fit so I can do all the jumping that we are in need of jumping. And then we can get the heck out of here and then we can use our key on the door and get a piece of the broom. Look at our broom. We've got three of like... I don't know. We got three of seven pieces. I could save here. It's been a while, and the next little thing's gonna take me a lot of time. Because we get to go up to the second floor. And it's all big and cumbersome, and you get neat things out of it. That's gonna be a long time, though. Ah. Uh, uh, As you can see, the thing is now open. The door is open, we can go through. We just have to come in here and get on this little block, which is completely necessary for us getting on here and getting a thing. And not pushing it off the edge. Treasure map six, we haven't been there yet. And then there's treasure map two, which I'm trying to remember where it is. You know what? I will save this for next time. Huh! I will save this for next time. In the meantime, I will go track down way where the crap that treasure map 2 is. I know it's upstairs somewhere. I just have to go find it. Totally found it. Totally found it. I forgot about this room, but it's totally a room we can go to, and we can jump on in and go... And then hop over here and hit us a little button. And then we get all kinds of free stuff. I like getting free stuff. And for that, we get the notes of the gatekeeper. Oh, so this is going to be one of uh, Mei Ling's notes. Well, that's interesting. And you know what? I'm kind of willing to... I'm kind of willing to believe that. To a degree. Now then, the fastest way back is going to be... Not going this way. Poo block. Trying to go back the way I came, which I only kind of remember, and hope, and oh, it was right here. Alright, so we opened up a door on the second floor, right here, right there. So next time, we're gonna go in that door. And then we're gonna do stuff. Also, fancy things happen. Until next time, everybody.